I'm looking for the sign. What the f was that? He can't breathe? Dude, look at all this yellow shit. It looks like some type of toxin on the ground. It literally sounded like there's like some sort of monster in here, bro. They found the name Tom on the wall. What the heck is this thing? There's a picture of a T over here. What's up guys, Mo Sarge here. Welcome back to another adventure. Today, I am giving you guys something really, really crazy. I got my boy CJ with me. I got Ethan with me. And I got Jimmy all the way back there. Today, we are trekking through the unknown, far, far north into Canada, somewhere deep in the forest, trying to find this abandoned school. Apparently, there is poison in this school. Apparently, there is jars full of crazy creatures in this school. Apparently, there is jars full of tarantula, snakes, scorpions, a lot of crazy animals in this school. Apparently, it's a big high school that's abandoned. It's supposedly super, super scary. I've never been to it before, but guys, you guys know when I give you guys adventures like this, y'all be smashing that like button in full force. So, before we start the adventure, I need you guys to smash that like button and go down to my link below, lelware.com. Get yourself some of the new Live A Little merch, guys. Check it out. We got the Live A Little on the arms here. We got the LEL here on the chest and a big LEL on the back. Also, there's new hats, new shirts, new tanks, and everything else. Check it out, lelware.com. Now, without further ado, let's go and crush the school. All right, you guys, making our way through these train tracks just to get to the school. Like I said, this is a dangerous adventure, so I don't want you guys to do what we do. I'm going to try to make a really long video for you guys because I think my sergeants deserve a long video. You guys deserve to live a little, so why not live a little with me through my eyes? Sit back, enjoy the ride. Speaking of ride, we're on train tracks. That's awesome. I think we have found a way to get in through this ditch area here. There we go. Gotta go through the forest. Hopefully no bears get us because there is bears and wolves in this area. We're in the north, guys. It is cold out here. It's 13 degrees Celsius right now, which is totally insane. Ugh. I am happy. I am happy I wore pants today. Yeah, I wore pants today, just like I promised. Voila, an abandoned school right there. Really massive school, massive location. We're gonna go inside. It's probably gonna get dark real soon, even colder. As I said, it's 13 degrees Celsius right now. Thank God I got this super warm. Live a little hoodie, elielwear.com. Link down below, grab it from there if you guys wanna stay warm. This is gonna be an epic adventure. This is gonna be one of the best adventures I will give you guys. So. I'm just, I'm just thrilled to be here, man. As you guys can see, we are on the side of the abandoned school here in the middle of nowhere, literally. Damn, man. This is crazy, you guys. It's very tense, too. I don't know if this place is haunted, but we're not here for anything haunted. We're here for something really cool. Something that I've never showed you guys on the videos before. So, the main objective, the main mission is to find the science room in this school. We're gonna explore the whole school from top to bottom, then find a science room and show you guys what's inside. Check it out, this high school is bigger than I actually expected. It's all abandoned. The guys are already inside. 
I'm gonna show you guys a lot of the outside stuff before I make it inside, because there's just so much content here. Wow, look at this. This is all abandoned. I cannot believe this. So my friend Carlo gave me this location. Big shout out to him. He told me that they hid poison jars in some lockers because they didn't want kids to get a hold of them. So my mission is to locate those poisonous jars. So this is a challenge within a challenge. Oh my God, that's an owl. Is that an owl? That's not an owl, that's just a bird. Whoa, dude. Huh? This was the music room. Yeah, this is the music room. I was gonna say auditorium or a music room of some sort. I say uh, we split up into two, what do you think? Yeah, we're gonna split up. Check it out you guys, we just found a portable classroom. Dude. Touch. A touch breast self examination guide. Yeah, this is like I don't even know. This might have been like a health ed class. Yeah. Somebody started a fire here. Dude, this is so cool right now. Yeah, poop boy was here. Poop was, was here. So was boy. Hey, let's see if we can find some chalk. We can write our names on here. Mo Sarji was here. I gotta make my mark, man. If you guys ever come here, if you find out where this place is, which I hope you don't, because I don't want people destroying this place, let me know. Take a screenshot of that and send it to me. Now, to make it back into the actual school, it's gonna be me and CJ, and then Ethan and Jimmy are all by themselves. Holy crap, look at how creepy this looks. This was definitely worth the six hour drive, you guys. We drove six hours. What the hell was that? Was that you? Jesus, that scared the crap out of me. I came out of nowhere. I was saying this was definitely this, worth the six hour drive. What the heck was this room? There's a chair and scratch marks all over the walls. Damn. Don't let anything in here, please. Okay, that's creepy. It's not even dark yet, but this place is so dark on the inside. It looks like it's nighttime. I promised you guys a really long video here today, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you guys a really long video. Check it out, you guys. I've discovered the workshop in here. I guess they used to build things in here. I, I don't know, it's been a long time since I've been in high school. But yeah, this was definitely the workshop. Stay free classic. What the hell is this thing? Some type of face wipe. This must be some type of face wipe. I don't know. Cool though. Huh. Yo, what's up? I didn't even know you were in there. Crazy. Look at all this, guys. This was the actual workshop. All right, you guys, making my way down this creepy, dark hallway all by myself. I've kind of split up with CJ right now and all the other guys. I kind of want to be alone in this place because there's so much to explore. And you know what? I don't want the same footage as everybody else. I want you guys to watch this video from my point of view. Take a look at how creepy this place is. It's insane. It's really, really cool. What in the world did I just stumble upon? There's a room here. There's like a thousand Legos in here. Whoa. Are these Legos? I think these are Legos. Wow, yeah, they are Legos. Look at all this. There's Legos everywhere. Check it out. This is so free. This is one of the best finds I have ever probably found. Kids, do not look at that. Don't look at that. Do not look at that. Don't not look at that. Anyways, this is so cool. There's already a lot of stuff in here is left behind. Like there's so much content in here. It's like content overload. Look at all these chairs. This makes me happy. You guys don't even understand. This makes me really happy. And on the way here, we drove like six hours to get here. On the way here, we found this big abandoned house in the middle of the forest. We actually walked into it, but we didn't film it because we wanted to come here before it got dark. We're gonna be staying here even throughout the night and filming because this place is massive. Like I said, I wanna dissect this place. But the house that we found in the middle of the forest has everything left behind literally from like 1890s. There's like so much old stuff in there. It's like a treasure hunt. And we're gonna go do a video there throughout the night once we leave this place. So. Two videos, man, in one day. That's gonna be crazy. So the boys are saying that they found the name Tom on the wall. It's kind of weird, but I mean, anybody could have written that right over the years. Check out all these lockers. Now, where does Carlo hid a bottle of poison that he found in the science room? In a locker, somewhere in this high school. Now, this place is massive, so I'm gonna be dissecting the shit out of this place just to find, whoa! What the hell was this place? Look at all this. Damn, there is so much here. Look at the floors. Old computers, books everywhere. I wonder when this place was abandoned. Honestly, I don't have too much knowledge on when this place was abandoned, but I'll try to figure it out as I go throughout this video 
and I'll be sure to let you guys know. I just made my way into this electrical room. It's like a class where they used to teach people how to work with electrical stuff. There's like an electric box there. At least that's what it says. Look, it says electrical on the door right there. This is cool, guys. This is cool. But I'm finding toys everywhere. It's interesting. There's toy heads everywhere. Now, I don't know if this place is haunted. It could very well be haunted. It's in the middle of the forest. That's just the wind. It's in the middle of the forest. There's tons of stuff here. Um, it's been here abandoned for a very long time. I don't know, it could be haunted. There could be some bears in here actually and some wolves living in here. It is getting cold now. So, you know, things will want to hibernate and hide places, but look at this. I guess this is stuff. Yeah, what? What? What happened? Yeah. What? Did what? Somebody yeah. No, I didn't scream, bro. Not in here, no scream. Dude, let me know in the comments below if you guys remember who this cartoon character is. I know who it is, but I want to know if you guys know who it is. It sucks that this place is so destroyed, but I'm kind of happy at the same time because it just offers such a spooky, spooky vibe to the video. If you guys can see that. And there's so much left behind too, which is awesome. Look at the floor, how it shifted. This just goes to show you how nothing in this world lasts. Humans did not do this. This was the movement and shifting of the, the ground underneath the place and the structural integrity of the actual building. Take a look at this. I'm gonna show you guys from a different angle. This is how much the floorboards have shifted in this school. That's insane. I'm kind of getting pretty, pretty nervous right now because I'm here all by myself. The guys are on somewhere else in the school. Where does this lead to? Do not lock behind me. I will be so pissed. This is the bathroom. I'd be so pissed if I got locked in here right now. All right, good to go. Time to keep moving forward. I think the guys might be down there, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna finish exploring the rest of this hallway. I'm looking for the sign. What the fuck was that? I'm looking for the science class. See, I like being alone, but I hate being alone at the same time because this, this is creepy. This is the welding room right now. Pretty creepy place to be. They used to teach students how to weld here. This was a full, full high school. Like they probably went from like kindergarten classes, judging by all those toys, all the way to like mature classes grade 12, maybe even grade 13. Back in the day here in Canada, there was grade 13. It was inside that. But over the years, they went ahead and canceled grade 13. Not sure why, but they did. Oh, look at this water fountain over here. Who remembers washing? I feel like there's something following me right now. No, you guys better not be trying to scare me because I'm already on my nerves. Where are these guys? is this thing there's a picture of a T over here oh, when this I want to see when this picture was taken you guys oh, it doesn't say no oh, put it back up on the board this is really weird though there's like a picture of a T holy shit guys look at this I just found more pictures in here and this one has like a satanic star on it. Why? Oh, these are all stuck together. They've been here for so long. Why would these pictures be here, though? They're like stuck together. Jesus. Moving on throughout this room. I don't know what this room was used for. But most likely it was some sort of shop as well, just like all the other ones. So far we've seen nothing but shops. I haven't seen a science class yet. I do want to see more classes. I want to see where the principal's office was because I want to try to find names of this place. Honestly, I don't even have the name of the school. Where the heck are these guys? They totally just abandoned me in, a, in an abandoned school. How ironic is that? It's all good though. I'm going to... This is a really wet part, really disgusting part, and really dark, scary part. And I'm wearing my brand new shoes. 
And I just discovered the boiler room. This is so creepy, you guys. Look at this. A freaking boiler room, man. Wow. That is so scary. I wonder if the school has a basement. I'm actually eager to find out if this place has a basement or not. What? Oh, this is an electrical room. All right, you guys, it's time to move through this creepy dark hallway here all by myself. No clue where the guys are, but that's not gonna stop me. I'm gonna keep exploring, see what I can find in this big ass school. I feel like there's something following me, but it's just probably my mind playing tricks on me. Oh, this was the cafeteria kitchen. Whoa, look at this. This is legit the cafeteria kitchen. So cool, check it out, there's an oven here. Yo, this is where that mean cafeteria lady would serve you some really shitty food. Dude, this is so cool. So this right here was the cafeteria room. <laughs> you line up, buy your food over here, just like this. Just like I am gonna buy some food right now. Hello ma'am, can I please get some um, fries, a hamburger, a cheeseburger? But I'm broke. <laughs> Listen, how many of you guys were back in high school, you had no money on you to buy any food, and you'd have to settle for that shitty sandwich your mom made you back home? What on earth is this thing supposed to be? It's like a weird little star. I have no idea where all the guys went. CJ was supposed to be with me, and like frequently just like, you know, take a break from each other, go off on our own a little bit, but I think <laughs> the dude just disappeared. And the scary part about it is I don't know where these guys are, and I don't want them to sneak up on me. Look at this, guys. This is the entrance to the cafeteria. This room right here could have been like some sort of administration office. Smashed up to pieces. Rest in peace to the front entrance of this place. Look at this. Whoa. There's books here. Jesus, these things can be salvaged, man. There's board games. Look at all these board games. I wonder if this school was French, because everything here is in French. That's interesting to know. We found the office right here. Pretty sure this is where I used to always get in trouble. Or maybe this isn't the office. This is kind of tiny for an office. But, yo, check it out. Picture of students. It's deteriorated. Oh, this is a picture of the teachers, guys. What the fuck are those? Cool, this is so cool, guys. Picture of teachers. In a moldy ass room. I like it. I approve this message. But check this out. I'm finding more names of teachers and students on these plaques over here. Check it out. The the latest one I can see is year 2000. So I don't know if this place became 2006, 2010. I have no clue when this place became abandoned, but it's very deteriorated to have been abandoned anytime like recently. It might have been at least 10 years abandoned. Two or three years of abandoned can cause a lot of damage on a building without maintenance but imagine 10 years and 20 years and I just found the main office back in my high school when I was a kid I spent a lot of my time in this room right here in places such as this out hey Ethan yeah did you get in trouble a lot in high school I did. did you still get in trouble in high school graduated damn yeah. that was deep yeah did you get in trouble a lot in high school? Dude, I was always in trouble. Bro, I, I was like nicknamed Mr. Trouble in high school. Dude, I, me and the principal were like this. Yeah. Seriously. Bro, I literally flipped my principal's desk over because my principal took my chain. Literally, I went to a rough school. Yeah. I went to a place called Bell High School in Ottawa. My principal snuck up on me, ripped my chain off my neck because she hated me. So I went into her office, flipped over her desk, stole my chain back with full force. You guys know us sergeants don't fuck around. Yo, Mo. Huh? What did they always have in offices at the back? At the back? Yeah. Candy? No. Don't come here. What did they always have? What did they have? What did they have? Like, is it something good? Something crazy. Hmm. Phenomenal. Like I know. something you'd always want to. Oh, I know. Always I know. want to know what's inside it. I know. Orgies. No? Oh, okay. Alright, alright. I mean, I always. It's a mother effing safe. A safe? Holy shamoli. We just found a safe and not an orgy, which is kind of good. Oh, dude, imagine we can crack this thing. Yeah, the handle's broken and the lock is kind of busted up. So we can't get in here. It sucks. But this is the office.
Yo, detention room, where you at though, fam? This looks like it was that asshole principal's office right here. Some asshole principal gave a lot of students suspensions in this room right here. <laughs> in this room. Oh, I bet that's the principal's office, bro. Wall? Yeah, wooden walls. Where's the chokey? You guys remember the chokey from the movie Matilda? Look at all this, guys. Abandoned, destroyed, it's all gone. I found a plaque right here. East Perry Sound Regional Science Fair Best Science Project from Life Experiencing Alternative Schools. Karen Stewart, Lil Bell. Lil Bell? Dude, what? This person's name was Lil Bell. Yo, what? What are you trying to be like these new age rappers? Lil? Little something. All right, guys, that's enough time spent in the office. I spent a lot of time back in my high school days. I don't want to relive those memories. So it's time to try and find. All these lockers have been sealed shut for some reason. But there's some lockers that have things inside that Carlo, my good buddy, good friend. Dude, isn't this the, that's a Slenderman sign right there. Made out of, made out of mold. This is literally made out of mold. Yo, check it out. This is a Slenderman sign. Made out of mold. Oh, jeez. Where did you get that mask from? I bought it off Amazon. Oh, thanks for letting me know. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've explored about a third of the school. There's a lot more to explore. Whoa, holy shit, my camera. Yeah, I ran into that. Dude, Dude. my camera. Whoa. This is dangerous. My camera just ran into that. Or, I ran into that. But, we're trying to find the science room. What is this, boys? Well, is this the gymnasium? Yeah. Did you see that? No, I haven't been in here yet. Go in there with the floor. Holy shit. Dude, the floor has shifted. It, above it? I'm gonna go above it. I'm going under. Holy crap. I wanna go to that stage. Ethan, you coming? Anybody coming? Alright. Holy moly. Take a look at that. St the floor has shifted in this place. Now this, again, this isn't done by humans. This is done by just simply mother nature trying to take back what's hers, which is all this land. Oh my god, even here too, you guys. Look at this. Wow. Let me get some brighter light in here for y'all. Dude, this is insane. The floors in this gymnasium has completely, completely shifted. Wow. Yo, huh. See so if I can score just some sort of basketball in there from here? Let's find out. Oh, so close, dude. Hair ball. Moving on, I wanna go and see what's up on that stage over there. Look at this, X marks the spot. Wow, dang, this is so cool. Oh. Did you find any balls in here yet? You found a ball? You found a ball? Oh, a volleyball, look at this. The floor has shifted everywhere in this place. I'm behind the curtains. This looks like it was like the drama area. It probably pulled some plays here. There were probably a lot of plays happening over here. I wonder why, aside from this place being like all rotten and shit, why they abandoned it. This is really cool though. There's like a st catwalk up there. I'm gonna go up there and see what's up. There's like another room up here. Check it out guys. I'm up on the catwalk right now. Just when you guys thought it was nighttime, guess what? It's really not. It's not nighttime at all. I'm on the roof. Ugh. Maybe it's not such a good idea to be up here. I don't want to fall off. There is still upstairs of the building that we have not explored. We actually haven't explored like lots in this place. Like this is totally cool. I want to show you guys the view from up here. Yo, who needs stairs when you can just walk across the rooftop and end up in Mrs. Sinclair's class? Look at that. Real talk though, this place is actually so sick, you guys. I hope you appreciate this adventure. I hope you appreciate the long video. And I hope you guys support me and support these adventures. You guys are probably wondering why I haven't been going on crazy big abandoned adventures. Well, abandoned adventures cost a lot of money, which is why right now I'm selling my merch, guys. LALware.com. Get yourself some merch. It helps support my channel. It helps support these adventures. It helps support the videos. Very simple, you guys. All you gotta do is go to LALware.com. Get yourself any merch size you want, any color you want. I think we're actually only doing one color for this hoodie right here. And we got the I Live A Little right here. We got the LEL right here. I got t-shirts for guys and girls. They're actually unisex. So both you and your girlfriend, your mom or your dad can wear it, or your daughter or your son can wear it. And it helps my channel out. All you gotta do is go to LELwear.com. Grab yourself some merch. I got these new hats. I don't even have the hats. My shipment of hats are actually on the way right now. I cannot wait to test these hats out. They're new snapback trucker hats. So a lot of you guys have been asking for trucker hats. And some of them 
aren't even snapbacks. So go to lelwear.com, order your merch. Don't forget guys, once you order your merch and the campaign is over, I'm gonna be running a 14 day campaign. Once that campaign is over, your merch will get shipped to you guys. Jimmy and I, we just went through that window. We decided not to go back downstairs because we have explored most of downstairs and we're just gonna jump right into the action up here. See what we can find. Hopefully we can find the science class. Oh, man, what's this? The balcony? Oh, this is the balcony to the gymnasium. This is super cool. So this is kind of shady. Walking across these set, sets of lockers. I almost fell. Wow. I legit almost fell. Check it out. I literally fell off those lockers. I got pushed into this room and I found these books up there on series nine. Dude, re remembering textbooks just gives me cringe. I hate textbooks. Science. Science? Science. Science, like we're getting close. To, we're getting close to the science room then. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. We're getting closer and closer. All right, you guys, making our way. This is looking more and more sciencey to me. Um, it looks like this could have been like some sort of lab. And Carlo told me, Carlo told me in the lab, there might be, not boobies, there might be some vials. He said there are some jars full of animals, like spiders, some scorpions, some snakes, a dead owl. He said there's a lot of stuff. So this looks like it might be a laboratory of some sort, but is the stuff that we're looking for here? I don't know. Stay tuned to find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. I'm just kidding, I'm just trolling you guys, but stay tuned, we'll find it, we'll find it somehow. I don't know. I really hope we do find what we're looking for. It's why we actually came here, not just for the explore, but to find these vials. This is a computer lab, bro. Yeah, it's computer science. Yeah, this is computer science, so this is not what we're looking for. Although this is super cool, yet it's still not what we're looking for. <laughs> Damn it. Dude, you scared the shit out of me. Holy shit. Holy shit. I've been waiting up here hurting. I heard you guys. Bro, that was scary as shit. What? We thought we heard somebody up there and I saw a light and I'm like, No, that was me. And then I heard some noise downstairs, so I thought you were somebody else. Did that scare you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now that I've scared the shit out of everybody, I just want to I wanna see if I can find. Hey, that, that prank that I just did on you was payback for breaking into my house, piece of shit. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen how CJ broke into my house, check out my video, link down below. He broke into my house, guys, my brand new house. Scared the living shit out of me. I was about to stab him with a machete. But so far, we haven't found the science room. No clue where it is. We're still looking for it. I told you guys this is going to be a long ass video. We just took a really sexy Instagram picture of yours truly, most Sarji. Make sure you guys go and like it on my Instagram. It's me sitting here looking like a badass, just like how I was back in high school days, guys. By the way, for those of you that want to know, I did not go to college. I did not go to university. I went to NASA straight out of high school. So, you know, I became a NASA engineer. Making financial decisions <laughs> is what life is all about, kids. Make sure you make really good financial decisions. When, when did this place become abandoned? 13, I think. 2013? Yeah. It's in terrible condition, bro. That's not even that far. That's five like five years. years ago. Yeah. Damn. Guys, take a look at this. All these people's names here on the walls. We're still trying to find the, the damn science room. It's been elusive. Is it just me? Boys. Boys. Is it just me or is that extra sign on here? Is that just a reflection? It's a reflector. Is it? It looks on. The water. We're not going through there. That's where we came from. What? Yeah. Actually? Yeah. You go swimming too? No. <laughs> it's not that bad. An eye for an eye makes the world blind. Facts. We are going into territories, uncharted, a place where we haven't been yet. This is actually looking pretty creepy. What is this? A little. You, my friend. Oh shit, lights off here. This is the part where we have to keep our lights off because there is a side road and we don't want to get spotted by the pop, by the pops. I was gonna say the cops, I meant it just made it past that little bridge. I really hope the science room is this way. I feel like it might be this way, I don't know. If it is, 
then mission success. If not, still a success because we have found so much content in this place. It's unreal. Dude, this freaking classroom is destroyed. So we just made it into this room. I haven't been in here yet. Really? Yeah, you've been here? Yeah. yeah. What is this? It's like a meeting or something. Dude. This might be like a... I don't know what this is. Let me know in the comments below if you guys think you know what this might have been. This could have been like an art class. I don't think the science class is anywhere here. CJ thinks he knows where it might be. So oh, I'm gonna man. go ahead and follow CJ. And let's yeah, see if know. CJ leads us to the motherland. Let's see if you know what you're talking about. If not, everybody go unsubscribe from CJ. <laughs> no, I'm just joking guys, don't unsubscribe. But let's see if we can find a science room anywhere around here. I don't think I've been through this area yet. This is uh, this is all new to me. There's not nothing but classrooms after classrooms, lockers after lockers. Carlos said he hid the poison vials in lockers. This it? Oh, this is it. This is the science room. If they're not here, then somebody's taken them or broken them, because there should be some jars that have animals inside of them. There's jars here. He hid the poison jars only. Oh. Dude, that's what I went through. That's what I was looking for when I came in here, Ethan. Oh, true, true, true. Yeah, so he hid them in some lockers right next to the room. So there could be, they could be in some of the lockers outside of here. We tried. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, look at that, eat a dick. And there's a satanic star right there. <laughs> what do you think? He said they're in lockers. This is lit. This. Huh. This is another science class. Oh God. They're, oh, it stinks so bad in here. Dude, I feel like I'm getting freaking like cancer. Or I feel like I'm getting some sort of disease just looking in here. Look at that washing soda. There's a, a microscope thing, there's vials. Look at that. Guys, do not touch anything in this place. Don't even breathe. If you can not breathe, do not and do not move. Do not take and do not move. I don't know what that is. I will listen to you for once and I will not touch it. There's another room over here, another classroom. This oh must be eyes. another piece of the laboratory. Oh your eyes, what's yes. wrong with your eyes? They're burning. Dude, do not go in there, why? It's like suffocating. Suffocating? Well, dude, look at all this yellow shit. It could be some type of freaking toxin. <laughs> CJ saying it's unbearable to breathe in here. Dude, like, I should have brought a mask for this one, guys. I did not know I was gonna even find this on my way up in this place. Pretty cool though. It's not that bad. I don't know why they're like all scared. It really isn't that bad. This room actually smells worse. But there are jars in here that are supposedly. Have some type of animal shit in it. Drops of oil. This is definitely like for the laboratory, you guys. There's another vial right there. Oh. So cool. What is this? I don't, know. I don't know what that is. We're gonna take Ethan outside. Oh, what? He's Why? He's struggling right now. He's struggling? He's struggling. Why? To breathe. He can't breathe? Nah, he, he go out. Dude, we're going out. Oh shit, okay, coming. Look at this, you guys. I just found this grip tester. Apparently, Ethan can't breathe. They're gonna take him outside. Oh, I found the jars. There's jars here, but there's nothing in it. Sodium peroxide. There's a jar of sodium peroxide here. I don't know if that is bad, but I don't know what sodium peroxide is, to be honest. Yo, check it out. There's a jar of something in here. Something has died in here, bro. So panic acid. Yeah, but something has been cooked up in that jar. I don't know what it is. What was that? That's not like something growling at us. It literally sounded like there's like some sort of monster in here, bro. In the science room, out of all places. That was actually creepy. I caught that on camera, dude. Oh, 
Oh, look. There was an aquarium of some sort over there, and it's broken. It doesn't smell bad in here. You guys said it smells bad? Nah, bro. I don't smell nothing. I just see a lot of broken shit everywhere. I wonder what was inside this aquarium at one point. So this is the science class. There's a vial over here. What is inside of it though? Some type of liquid. Uh, there's supposed to be some vials with like tarantulas in them, scorpions. I guess some people have stolen them. Somebody could have taken them, bro. Somebody could have destroyed them. These little vials here on the ground too. But whatever we came looking for, it's not here anymore. That's for sure. Sheep brain. Fully extracted, plain, preserved with hypothesis sheep brain. Wow. Science kit, Boreal Laboratories. So there, there was sheep brain inside of this. So something has taken everything that we came looking for. Look, there's like jars up here, but they're empty. Mm -hmm. Well, whatever we came looking for, it's gone now, you guys. I just heard something over there. Stop moving. There's like something over there, huh? No joke. I doubt it's a bear. All right, guys, that concludes today's adventure. We made it out of the school safe and sound. That was, place was really creepy. Unfortunately, we couldn't find the dead animals inside of the jars. Looks like somebody has broken all the jars. Somebody has taken the jars. We could have found the poison as well, but the video was unbelievably a success. We literally walked back those train tracks. It was scary. There are bears and wolves in this area, so we don't want to really get eaten by bears and wolves. So we're going to get the hell out of here. Go show some love to Ethan. Go show some love to CJ. Go show some love to Jimmy. All their links are down below. Big shout out to Carlo for giving me this location as well. I'm going to be filming a whole bunch of more videos with these guys. You're going to see much more content coming out. And I need you guys to remember one thing. Live a little, guys. Live a little, guys. Live a fucking little, guys. Don't forget, lalwear.com. Go grab yourself some merch. It's limited time only, so if you can't get it, it's going to be gone in 14 days. After 14 days, I will not be selling this merch. On that note, you guys are awesome. Don't forget to be you, do you, stay positive, and just live a little. I'll see you guys in the next one.